All right, guys, what is going on? This is Outdoor Tech. It is October 13th. It's around 5.20 in the morning. You know, I woke up at 2 a.m., just made it up here. I'm actually meeting up with one of my buddies from high school. And the game plan is, is I'm going to, what do you call it? He's going to take me out to one of his salmon areas. So, you know, it's always just kind of cool when, you know, you could explore new waters. Especially when, you know, you're driving long distances and, you know, you're going with somebody who kind of already has it has it like figured out you know so you know I look forward to just seeing you know what his experiences are and again meeting up with good people that's what it's all about when you come up here you know people have so much pride when it's about snagging fish but man it's about the memories you know so you know that's really what we're all about here and you know next weekend we'll be doing a lot more hunting so stay patient with that but you know we got one more week of you know the solid salmon run till we have steelheads coming up but Let's all get to the water, and yeah, I'll keep you posted when he meets up with us. Let's do it. All right, guys, 7.04 in the morning. First cast. First cast, let's see. Wait up, let me get on your other side. I don't want to lose an eyeball here either. On, there you go. Running you all the way up on the side. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Hooks good, you think? Yeah, he took a nice bite of that fly. <laughs> <laughs> nice bite on the sponge. Yeah, yarn <laughs> fly. <laughs> Let's see if you bring him on in. I'll be surprised if he goes any further. You just normally tail them. Yeah. Woo! First fish. <laughs> oh god. Here we go with the rod snap. <laughs> Right in the corner, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what we did to my hook. He's fully bent. Let's see if we can get one. This is what you call a little low rent, but it's fun. Ah, we just had one there. There we go. I don't even got this guy hooked very good, I'll be honest with y'all. I'm just gonna see if I could crank this guy in. Again guys, you know, people take so much pride in catching their salmon and they hate on snagging them, but it's still fun just reeling them in. Can't let your pride get in the way of having fun in the outdoors. Let's see if we could tailor. This is how you get a serious line burn in your hand. We're gonna just see if we can walk her on back. Do the old, ah, we're not doing that. There we go. Well guys, first salmon, obviously I ain't hiding nothing here. Got him right in the back side. Let's get this hook on out. I'll show you guys. Just gonna let him go. He's gonna do his thing, swimming on back. Salmon number one, let's go get some more. Woo! All right guys, we are right on a salmon here. There we go, right in the mouth too.
Ouf. Well, guys, I don't know if y'all can see him. Do not. All right, in the mouth there. Here he is, guys. We're just gonna give him a little kick on out here. It's pretty shallow, but he'll be fine. He's just gonna swim back into deeper water there. Right where that twig is. On. There you go. Perfect hook. It'd be so cool if we got an airborne jump. Man, that freaking rod bends like a sea, dude. Almost got in the way of that one. Oh yeah, you could probably get him right on that bank. Perfect. I don't want to spook him on you. All right, what's that? What's that for you? This of the morning. Two. Second Two. one. Sweet. Get him back on in. Awesome. These people are crazy. It's 1.30, we're doing a little part two of this video, you know, the morning was just definitely not quality enough for my, you know, standards, but, 
you know, what can I say? There's two types of salmon fishing. There's salmon fishing on the river and there's salmon fishing in the backwoods, tributaries, two totally different techniques. And I'm not too proud of honestly just snagging fish on the side and just, you know, horsing them in on the rocks. I mean, don't get me wrong. The reason why I do love that kind of fishing and it's not, you know, the snagging part four yards away, but I just love being alone, kind of, like away from the crowds and, you know, seeing the salmon run up with their dorsal fins out of the water. It's a cool experience, so that's why I do like that, but, you know, we're going to be hitting up the river here. And honestly, guys, I got steelheads on my mind. Um, that's kind of the game plan for me. If we do get into some salmon though, I'd be happy with that. You know, steelheads are in the middle sections of the river, so the steelhead run is early. It's happening early this year, but you know, I am really enjoying how empty this river is looking. Now, it might be empty because there's no fish here, but eh, you don't know until you try, so that's kind of the game plan. Again, we got a couple hours to kill, and hopefully we can make a little video out of it. Let's undo it. There we go. We're on. Ah. Coming down. Water is definitely a little higher today. Steelhead. Hell yeah. Buddy's hooked on a steelhead over there. I got this guy hooked good, guys. You think you could get him? Go for it! Ain't over yet. Gotta get him in. There we go. Woo! You know, no more than 10 minutes at the spot in the river, afternoon, blue skies. We hook up on our first king salmon. I'm using what do you call it, spawn bags, because the main goal that I'm going for are steelheads. But there is nothing wrong with this salmon at all. I'm using 15 pound test because I was fishing in the middle areas where I kind of needed the lighter diameter, but here's what we caught. Nice little salmon here. Get this guy right back on in the water. We're on. Steelhead. Coming down, coming down. That's a steely. Holy cow. Stay on. Coming down. Holy cow. Coming down. That's a steelhead. That thing came out. Yep. Come on, stay on. Coming down! Holy shit!
Coming down! Guys, we're on a steelhead right now. If anything, I want this over 10 salmon I'd take. Coming down! I got a steely! Coming down! Whoa! Yep. Coming down. Coming down. Come on, stay on. Whew. Oh my God. Coming down, watch out. Holy fuck. This thing is insane. Guys, I am so freaking nervous. We are on a steelhead, and this is a nice size steelhead. I have it twisted, I believe, but I, as soon as I put on the egg sack, that's when he took it. Come on, stay on. It's a nice freaking steelhead. Oh. Stop. Oh. No! Let's go! This is the freaking big ass steelhead. This is my hand for comparison. By far biggest steelhead I ever caught. Again guys, 27, 28 inch steelhead. Salmon River right here. Freaking beautiful fish. We're gonna get this guy right back in the water though. Again, guys, here is the steelhead. Unfreaking believable. I can't get over this. Well, guys, there goes the steelhead. Is that spot fair game? Yeah. Can I go there? Yeah, I'm on. Alright, sweet. How many did you catch today? Steelheads. Two landed. Two landed. Land. 20? Yeah. I love that little spot. I can't figure it out today though. I keep getting snagged. Are we on? There we go. As soon as I put that fourth split shot on guys, Uh. Coming down! Holy shit! Right on, on the dorsal fin. How do we do it? This guy is all beat up. 
get this guy right on back here. Again, nothing too crazy. There he goes. Oh, yeah. oh we're on. Guys, I did not. Oh, guys, this looks red. Why does this look red? I do not have this hooked good. Coming up! I don't think I have it hooked in the mouth, but... Are you seeing red? I don't know. I'm... I must be seeing things. I hate hook... All right, that makes me happier. I'd be more nervous if... Oh, wow. I think this is a coho. What? It might be a coho. I think this is a, this is a coho, guys. This is bright pink. I don't have it hooked good at all, but we're gonna try to get this guy. Coming down! Hopefully I'm recording. Holy shit. Yeah, I did not have this guy hooked good at all, but a beautiful fish. Ah. Guys, check out this freaking fish. This is everything. I never caught one this beautiful before. Absolute male coho white gums. Look at that little beak on the front end. Freaking beautiful fish. All right, guys, here's the coho. I don't know if y'all could see him, but here's the beak. Look at the colors. I mean, I don't know if I could tilt it in any way, but you could totally see that kind of that pink red on the backside. We're going to get this guy right back on in the water. Let's do it. 